Hey, Patrick Juni here, and I'm going to be doing my first proper tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to implement a maps lighting into your Source Filmmaker. So let's go. So what you want to do is press play on the Half-Life Alex. Press launch on the Workshop Tools. Wait for that to launch. Make sure to disable enable VR because we do not need it. Submit, uh, launch the tools. Wait for the program to launch. May take a few moments. And here we go. Here's the uh, asset browser. What you want to be doing is open PSFM. Make a, make a uh, session. I'm just going to call it space because I'm going to be using the space map. Set the space, uh, set the uh, session uh, map to space. This works with any map. It doesn't have to be just this map. I just like this one because it loads quicker as well. Create a camera. Move it to wherever you want. This doesn't really matter. I'm just going to just put it here. Um, spawn a model. I'm going to pick Gman because I like the Gman, and just um, place him in. As you can see, there's no lights. So what you want to do is open up the console by pressing the tilde key, which is next to one. Type in map and the map name that you picked, um, I've picked space, or well, void space. Launch it up, it should launch in Half-Life X. Alex will, Alex will fall, but make sure to um, press V, but you haven't done that yet, so what you want to do is bind V to nail clip. So then you can obviously fly around. This doesn't really matter, but depending on the map, you want to make sure Alex is in an area where you're posing your character at. Since mine's just right here, it doesn't really matter. Alt tab back into SFM. Press the record button. Leave all this as it is. Alt tab back into SFM because we don't need that window. And then press record straight away. And then you'll see that the that the map is fully lit. So what you want to do is go to create animation sets for existing elements. Highlight these. Press OK. And then, so you'll notice that it's a bit laggy. So what you want to do is Alt Tab to the console or press tilde. It should bring it up. Type in disconnect. That should uh, unmount the map as you can see. And there we go. It, it's given it a bit more performance. And now your character is fully lit. So what you can do now is edit the lights to your liking. So you can have it super purple. Or you can obviously add your own light. But now this should enable a subsurface scattering automatically on your models. So let's just put this light here. It didn't in this case, for some reason, but yeah. Uh, so let's show you again, but with a different map. So let's do new. Um, pistol. I think the map's called Pistol. Continue without saving. Load. I don't think it really matters. Open up the map. A2 Pistol. This may take a, a while to load. Depending on your hardware, of course. So your map is loaded, and I may have picked a weird map. Oh, here we go. So uh, what you want to do is right-click, set camera to player start, and then you'll be in the location where Alex will start. I was a bit confused then. So you want to enable the lighting. As you can see, the map's fully lit. But when you spawn a character in, again, like G-Man, 
he won't be as fully lit. So let's uh, move him across the floor. Like there's some light affecting him, but not all light. So let's bring the uh, let's bring the camera over here, so you can see. Then what you want to do is open up the console, type in map and pistol. It should load up the map on Alex. Again, it may take time or no time at all, depending on your hardware. So here we go. So the map's loaded into the engine. That's super. That was super loud. So I'm lagging really bad, but ignore that because that doesn't really matter. So what we want to do is Alt Tab, press Record. That's okay. Or I'll record. Then go back into SFM. Press record again. So since this map is a bit laggy for me right now, and I've already done the session, so you just want to disconnect. And that scared the crap out of me because I wasn't expecting it to be a solo load. So now, let's just, so now, G-Man is properly lit on the uh, map's level. The map's lights don't want to be there. So, here we are. And he looks like he fits straight into the map with no issues. And of course, go here. Well, right click here or click the plus. Select animation sets for existing elements. You can select all these lights. Some of these lights will be parts of elsewhere on the map, so you'd have to uh, mess around to find the one that you want to edit. So this one, that one does that room, and you know your mile may vary depending on your mileage may may, uh, may vary depending on where you are. But G-Man will seem to be more in place. So you can just prop him up here if you want. And there you go. He seems in. He should. There we go. The subsurface scattering works fine as well. That's if you can't be bothered to do the map lighting. Source 2 is pretty good for its own lighting. There you go. There. All good. All done. And this applies to any map that you want. I'm pretty sure it'll work on your own maps too. So thank you for watching this basic tutorial. My name's been Patrick and I'll see you all next time.